what's going on guys today we're going to take a couple of mason jars and i'm going to show you how to separate the ethanol out of your fuel so if you're planning on having fuel sit in your garage or you're running dirt bikes or motorcycles that are carbureted lawnmowers weed eaters you don't want the ethanol in there so well all right so right about there we got about 750 milliliters of fuel and you're supposed to use one part water to 16 parts of fuel. Apparently that's the ratio. Go. All right, so I'm gonna take some normal standard water and a syringe so I can get a measurement, right? So for 750 milliliters, I need 46 milliliters of water, and then we're gonna shake this up. Go. And here's the first one. Go. All right, this is two. Go. There's 30. Four and six. So that is 46 milliliters of water. Cool. Now we're just going to take it, close it up. We're going to shake it. I'm going to give it a good shake for eh, a minute or two. Let's make sure it's really cloudy, real saturated. Well, I've been shaking it for a while now, so I'm just going to stop it there. What's real interesting is you can already, as soon as I stop, you could already see some of the separation. But it's still really cloudy up here. Got a lot of separation down here. It looks like it's pulling out some of the water already. Water and alcohol, ethanol mix. So we're going to let this sit overnight at least 12 hours. And we'll come back tomorrow and show you what we got. What's going on, guys? I've been doing a lot of yard work, but we're back here. We're going to continue. It's been a little over 24 hours, and this is what we're looking at. It's a pretty cool separation that you see right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this pump. I'm going to pump out all this uh, gasoline. It's going to be ethanol free. And then I'm going to take the, uh, the needle because it's a more exact measurement. And I'm going to measure exactly how much uh, water and ethanol comes out. I'm going to subtract the amount of water that I put in there. 46 milliliters and then from there I can get an exact percentage of how much ethanol this gas actually has all right so I'll show you what we got. Looks like there's almost no ethanol left in there. So I got about as much as I could using the uh, the needle, and I measured it, and it came out to be 67 milliliters. So I'll save you all the boring details and a bunch of long videos. 67. I put 46 in, took that out, subtracted it, and I ended up with 67. So 67 mill milliliters out of 750 is less than 10 percent. So this gas station is abiding by the proper regulations of no more than 10% ethanol. Now this right here is straight water and alcohol, ethanol, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take this and go get it disposed of or I'll probably just use it to start bonfires or something. I uh, don't know yet. The gasoline though, that can go in there and it's ready to run in lawnmowers, weed eaters, dirt bikes, or anything carbureted that you don't want ethanol in. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Uh, before we go any further, and you can just go dumping this into your fuel tank. So if you've got a high-end motorcycle or something like that that's that's meant to run on, say, 88, 89 non-ethanol or 91 non-ethanol, well, us removing the ethanol out of the uh, gasoline is going to lower the octane. So I'm going to be using some octane booster. Uh, just You can use whatever your preference is. So I'm going to take the amount right here. So if it's meant to treat 15 gallons, this has 155 milliliters. Well, that's too easy. I'm just going to divide it into 15 gallons and see how much per gallon I'm going to put in there. I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use the needle over here to measure the right amount to boost the octane of this one gallon. Thanks again for watching.